it's that time of year it is upon us back to school time listen i walked into my local dollar tree in order to film a video for you i had an idea and was highly distracted by all of the back to school items that i saw they had just like restocked or stocked <laughs> all of the back to school so i immediately switched gears pivoted over and today we are doing back to school amazing finds from none other than your local Dollar Tree. In the movie, You've Got Mail, they talk about doing a freshly sharpened bouquet of pencils. I feel that way. A nicely sharpened pencil just makes me so excited. Empty notebooks, empty composition books, filler paper, <laughs> to-do lists, post-its, markers, which is weird because I'm not really a journaler and I don't draw or anything, but I love it. Like they just make me so excited. And these days, listen, my kids have been home for months and months at this point. So back to school just makes me very excited. My kids are at the age and I'm at the age where when they go to school, I climb back in bed and then I eat the bonbons while I watch daytime TV. Wait, not daytime TV. I'm sorry, what am I saying? When I watch Netflix, <laughs> reruns of Friends, reruns of Grey's Anatomy, How I Met Your Mother for the umpteenth time and endlessly checking my streaming services to see if the latest season of Alone has been uploaded yet. Let me show you all of the amazing things that I found at Dollar Tree for back to school. You're gonna love it. And we are going to kick it off with food. Let's talk flavored water. I just found this new flavor at Dollar Tree. It is the Welch's Strawberry Peach. There's only six in here, so it's not a great deal cost wise. See, it says one stick and 16.9 fluid ounces. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. I usually pour this in a 44 ounce cup. So if you wanna give your kids a nice little treat without too much sugar, I mean, it has a little sugar in it, but not that much sugar in it. These are really delicious. Highly recommend, I've already taste tested these. Next up, if you're looking for a lot of sugar to give your kids, this Toastums package, it's got two extra bonuses in it. So there's eight in total of the frosted strawberry for $1.25. You will not find this price on the Pop-Tart brand basically anywhere unless you are discount store shopping. For my family, these taste just as good, if not better than the Pop-Tart brand. So you have four of the doubles in here and make sure you get the one with the eight. Most of the ones at Dollar Tree have six, but these in the back to school section are like bonus, two extra blah, blah, blahs. This makes this for the value a pretty good deal. So if you are just like in a hurry, you need the Pop-Tarts, you're channeling your inner Gilmore girl with the Pop-Tarts for breakfast, this is pretty good. Strawberry, Andrew, you wanna hold it? Yes, I do. I don't wanna hold one. There you go. I feel like the frosting is nice. Look how evenly frosted that is. Tastes like a Pop-Tart. I say do it. 10 out of 10 recommend. What is this? <laughs> Not only are they moon pies, they are double decker moon pies for $1.25. I found strawberry and salted caramel at my stores, so I thought we could do a taste test. There's only three in here, okay? This is probably not a great deal, but where else are you gonna find these? Cracker Barrel? I mean, come on. How fun is this? I, I think for like a first day back, it's fun to do some special little treat stuff. Let's taste test these and see how they are. It's bigger than half my face. Look, like I can cover almost my whole face with that. Holy moly. This is strawberry. This is 300 calories per package. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's falling apart. And it's dropping on the floor. Why are these so crummy? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. It's very squishy. Oh no. Yeah. Are you gonna sleep later? I guess. <laughs> well, the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. That is so dry. Oh no. Yeah. I like it, but it's a lot. It is. It's very messy. Why are these so messy? Is, is every moon pie this messy? Okay, salted caramel, here we go. I was hoping for a, like a chocolate moon pie, but they didn't have that in the double decker. Instead of breaking this one in half, I think that was a bad move. I'm gonna bite it and then I'll let you bite it, okay? Okay. Wow, that one's better. Mm. Salted caramel was better, I thought. I kinda like the strawberry, I don't know why. Okay. But I kinda like that one. Right now at my store, there's a huge display at the very front with all of the books 
a book for $1.25, it feels like a no-brainer. So I'm like, okay, let's check this out. And I skimmed through all of the books and there was not one book that I wanted to read. So sometimes even $1.25 is too high of a price to pay for a book. Now listen, I like big books, okay, and I cannot lie, but I have a better deal for you. If you wanna increase your kid's book consumption right before school, or if you are spending like 30 minutes in the morning making all of those back to school lunches and you want something to like keep your mind occupied, Audible is gonna give you 30 days for free. That's cheaper than $1.25, my friends, if you use my link down below. Audible is sponsoring today's video. And they're hooking you up with 30 days for free. It's audible.com slash frugalfitmom or you can text frugalfitmom to 500, 500. I've been using Audible for like two years now. Instead of having a limited selection of $1.25 books from the Dollar Tree that have like no books that you actually wanna read, you can listen to audiobooks from Audible from a huge catalog. Basically anything you want to listen to, they are going to have it. And did I mention the trial was free for new Audible members? Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you are interested in from best-selling audiobooks in every single genre to Audible Originals podcast, whatever it is, they've got it. As an Audible member, you get one credit every month to purchase an audiobook to listen to. You can pick from the entire catalog, including bestsellers, and then once it's in your library, you can listen to it across all devices. You can listen to it on your Echo. You can listen to it on your phone, in your car, on your computer, on your Echo Dot, on your TV if you can figure out how to do that. Basically anywhere. And then you get to keep it forever. You may know that we ended up with a puppy several months ago, so I have been listening to Zach George's Dog Training Revolution on Audible. I've learned a ton of how to train a puppy with this. It was really, really helpful. Rogue is now seven months old. She's still technically a puppy, but not like a little baby puppy anymore. More. and I've really been enjoying that. And then I also switched over to Michael Pollan's In Defense of Food. I just started this one, but I'm super interested in nutrition, the science of nutrition in sports. So I'm, I'm just fascinated by the whole topic. I love food. Another one that I've been listening to is called Dopamine Nation by Anna Lemke. I am probably saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. It says finding balance in the age of indulgence. I also just finished doing Wild by Cheryl Strayed, which was fabulous. Another one that I just downloaded that I'm excited to listen to is No Time Like the Future by Michael J. Fox. I'm a huge fan of his. I've seen basically every piece of work he's ever done from Family Ties at the beginning, of course, all the Back to Futures. He was in The Good Wife, which I adored. I just really enjoy him as a person. So I am excited to dig into that one as well. If you want a novel, because I haven't given you one of those yet, I am about to start listening to Kristen Hanna's Night Road. I have read or listened to every single one of Kristen Hanna's books. I love them. So this is one of her uh, most recent ones. I'm excited to dig into this one. It's 14 hours and 47 minutes. A lot of carpool taking my kids back to school. Anyway, you want to try out Audible for free. F-R-E-E, -E, which is cheaper than the Dollar Tree. It's audible.com slash frugalfitmom, or you can text frugalfitmom to 500, 500. First link down below in the doobly-doo. Thank you, Audible, and let's jump over to more awesome Dollar Tree finds. What is it about dang list making tools? I love these. These are so much cheaper than the ones you can find at Walmart. They have magnetic pieces on the back so you can stick them on your refrigerator. You've got this. I love a little inspiration moment. Prioritize. Reasons to smile. For what, 250, I have two little inspirational, positive speaking to me things that I can stick on the refrigerator and see all the time. These are awesome for grocery lists. You know, when you're using the mustard and then you run out and you realize you have no mustard in the house, you need to write it down. Perfect, just keep it on the fridge. Write mustard so it's there. You're not gonna forget the next time you go. Notes to your kids before school, after school, in school. Lunch notes, I love these. They had a ton of different styles and options and colors. These are just the two I wanted to pick up. Back to school brings once again my favorite Dollar Tree storage Tupperwares. These are an exact duplicate of the Sistema like little snack bins, three for $1.25. These are the perfect tiny little size for like some raisins, some pretzels. You can put ranch in one of them to go with your carrots or your broccoli or apple slices or grapes or whatever it is. They have this seal right here that keeps things from spilling and it's actually a pretty good size for storing snacks. I've done little protein packs out of these with nuts sliced 
hard boiled egg and cheese cubes. And for $1.25 for three, which this year is amazing. It used to only be two for a dollar. This one has bell peppers in it. You can put all kinds of snack foods in these. I think these are the best. Everyone should go and buy these. They come in a ton of different colors. They're the perfect size for a lunchbox. And this one can go in the dishwasher top rack. And speaking of lunches and storage containers, you would not believe all the fun things that we are going to try out right now. First of all, we have the lunch storage tower. Like the whole thing unscrews. You have a little cup right here for a dip, peanut butter, right? And then this whole other section for something else. You can put three different things in here. This is cool. I'm gonna tell you right now, this plastic does not feel sturdy enough to go in the dishwasher. This is a hand wash item, but this is kind of neat. Now my kids do love a little veggie moment for school and snacks and things like that, but they also love the ranch. So this little guy, does it clip in there? Okay, after messing with it for a minute, this piece does have to be totally flat for it to work. But this is like, stick it in your lunchbox, you have your veggies, you have your ranch. It looks pretty leak proof, the way this is set up. The plastic is definitely not strong enough to go in the dishwasher. I would hand wash all of these, just because it doesn't feel super sturdy to me personally. Not too bad for $1.25. Yogurt cup with like a topping. There's a spoon built in. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show this to Dave. I'm so excited about this. Look at this spoon. It spins and you have your own spoon. What? I know, it just snaps. Oops, do it. Can I do it? <laughs> Maybe it snaps. Get in there. Ah, got it. You just gotta put a, use a little pressure. And can I just say, that's a ton of yogurt. This thing is enormous. 16 fluid ounces of yogurt, wow. My only issue is I feel like there's a lot of room for yogurt and not enough room for your granola of choice. I felt like this container was a little small, but it seems to be like pretty leak proof. I guess there's room for fruit if you wanted to do fruit. That spins like that. And then you're good to go. Would you take one of those to work? I would. Yeah, that's neat, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. How about this guy? Mug of soup, soup mug. This I think is to take a can of soup to work. You can microwave it in here, pop this for a steam, and then like you drink it, use a spoon or whatever. This definitely does not feel watertight. So I would not use this as a watertight item. Microwave safe, freezer safe, top rack dishwasher. Also lots of fun colors. For the soup container, I thought we would try to mix up some ramen. It does say that it's for reheat only, um, so probably not thermos-like in its usage. So if you take like a can of soup or, or a ramen or something like that, wherever you're going to school or work. I mushed these up so they're tiny little pieces. But let's see how this works. Okay, this barely holds two cups of fluid. So it's almost too small to do ramen. Okay, this was three minutes in the microwave. What is it about chicken flavored ramen that smells so good? It just reminds me of my childhood. This is the part I was curious about, oops. Okay, it's not gonna work on the handle. Is, if I tip it, will it leak? Okay, this is closed? Is that closed? I mean, that's not leaking. All the way upside down? Well, I don't think that thing is, no, it'll, it'll leak off the top. But it will not leak out of the sides. Not spill proof on the top. Yes, spill proof on this side. Interesting. And I found a few more little storage totes. They both come with an ice pack inside. So you can keep whatever you put in here really cold. I'm obsessed. Okay, when it comes to keeping your things cold, I, I just think this is super cool. You have your built-in ice pack that I stuck in the freezer. So if you want a fruit and veggie that stays cold, I've got carrots in this one. I don't think these are gonna be totally waterproof, but if you wanted to keep your stuff chilly, this is cool. And then, you know, you wanna take a baby bell or a laughing cow, but you're not gonna to get to it for a bunch of hours. You know, you put your, I actually think the ice pack clips into that. Yeah, it clips into the lid. There, look at that. So the whole thing stays cold. So your cheese stays cold all the way up until lunchtime. Like you put meats in that, cheese, meat, your own little homemade lunchable situation. These are very cool. I like these. If your store has the plus section, this was 
three dollars now it does come with a dry erase marker on top and a magnetic piece here and then also these little hooks if you wanted to do nails or something. I'm a big fan of command strips personally. But look, you have the whole week of to-dos, next week, some notes that you want to take. Haley saw this and she basically claimed it for herself. She loves to take notes for the week on her whiteboard so she can see it in front of her. But for $3, this is such an amazing find. And I know that this guy's probably not going to last very long, but never fear. Guess what else they have? Expo dry erase markers. Every single year, my kids get these dang marker requests in their back to school supply list, which is fine. Listen, these poor teachers are taking my kids all day. I will give them whatever they want, okay? But it's the dry erase marker. I can never find just one. They're really expensive at Walmart. So to be able to find one marker, like one, because my kid only needs one. My kids get their school supply list on the first day of school not before and so the entire town is at walmart at 8 p.m on the first day of school and they have nothing left dollar tree coming in clutch with the dry erase markers another item that's always on my kids shopping lists or supply lists or whatever it is on the first day of school are highlighters look look at this a double pack of highlighters they have yellow and then pink and orange on this side for a dollar 25 I went ahead and picked these up now because I know that this item will be on the list and Walmart will be out of them and I have nowhere else to go except for Dollar Tree. Speaking of saving the day, please buy your kids the Crayola crayons. Now, if you watch like Walgreens and Target and Walmart, they will have these on sale, but they go quick. They will be cheaper than Dollar Tree, but if you can't find them or you don't like watching the sales or whatever, 24 count. And then they had some fun ones, glitter crayons. How awesome is this? Crayola, don't get the cheap crayons don't get the cheap pencils they're no good crayola is better ticonderoga pencils are better washable crayola markers at dollar tree crayola colored pencils at dollar tree all of these things are going to be on my kids list so excited to find all of these there is a pencil exception that i am okay with and it is the bic mechanical pencils okay the number two mechanical pencils i use these exclusively for math because i liked the erasers and i liked the little clickety clickety anyway you can get five for a dollar 25 and i feel like that's a pretty good deal and i i do like these pencils these were actually my favorite when i was in school if you have kids that are older like junior high and high school things like index cards and post-its come in handy so much to keep them organized. I teach my kids to study with index cards. It's really helpful to make flashcards and things like that. I find that a lot of the kids don't know how to study or they don't learn how to study. So I'm trying to coach them through that. And it's especially gonna help as they go to college because you really need to learn how to study in college. And then post-its, when you need reminders for things, you want inspirational messages on your mirror, I'm obsessed with post-its. I love them. I find them so convenient. They're everywhere at my house. Sometimes they're all over my face. When it comes to index cards, you don't need a name brand for that one, but I do like the glue on the post-it name brand all at the Dollar Tree. This is a fun find for $1.25. If you have kind of a younger kid or something, you can put all the school supplies inside this little tote bin. They came in different colors. This is the Jot brand, but you can put all your crayons, all your post-its, all your index cards, your scissors, all in here. So you can like keep a whole one at home. That's like after school coloring sheets or math papers and you need all the mechanical pencils and the erasers and the protractor or whatever, these are great to keep your school supplies organized. I love this one. I don't know how my kids do to theirs, but every year they need new binders. They need one for every class. They have to be certain colors and Dollar Tree had a wide variety of those. And if you have kids that are feeling left out because they don't get to go, I saw a ton of like Crayola coloring books, activity books, and when my kids were super small, we did a rotating preschool with some of the Dollar Tree lesson books, like letters, shapes, colors, numbers, all found at the Dollar Tree workbooks for you to do like an at-home preschool, which I've done with my kids. And of course, don't forget the activity books for the older kids. Sudoku, did I say that right? Puzzles, word finds, crossword puzzles, um, all at the Dollar Tree. And honestly, they have a wider selection and enough in stock that I can actually purchase them because every time I go to Walmart to buy something like that, I can't find anything. And if I can, it's like $15. Need some back to school outfits. The Dollar Tree Plus section has a pretty impressive 
uh, graphic tee selection for only $5 a t-shirt. You will not find that price anywhere, nowhere. They have Looney Tunes, Disney, a bunch of character t-shirts to pick from. I thought they were super cute. And then also in that plus section, they have just plain whiteboards that I like to have <laughs> that I like to have just to take notes along with a huge container of gel pens. Now, I can't say that their lunch boxes for $3 and their backpacks for $5 are going to last very long, but if you have really young kids who don't need to carry a bunch of heavy books and just need a little backpack to carry their little lunch box, this might be a good option if you're looking for something inexpensive just to get them by. They also had these really cool chalkboard and whiteboard hanging pictures with hooks you could hang probably nothing very heavy but like a hat a light sweater write little notes for your kids if you want to decorate their room a little bit i think they're super cute and in the storage area one of the most popular areas of dollar tree they have this cool basket with a handle that you can slide into a locker out of a locker in a bookshelf out of a bookshelf they're pretty good for a dollar 25 i picked one up to see what i thought about it and all of my spices are now in it you can find a multitude of ways to utilize this tool instead of just school supplies you would use it in your kitchen like I did. If your store has some other back to school treasures that you think are worth the find, let us know down below in the comments so everyone else knows what to look for when they go shopping at their Dollar Tree. Don't forget about the free 30 days with Audible for first time users by going to audible.com slash frugalfitmom or you can text frugalfitmom to 500, 500 first link down below if you wanna try that out. Happy back to school shopping to you and maybe I'll see you at Dollar Tree. Keep your eyes open and come say hi.